This is my first attempt at a can crusher. The reason I'm doing it in Florida, we do not have, they don't recycle the cans. And so I'm saving up the ones from the neighborhood and we'll take them in and donate it to charity. So the volume was getting too large. So what I did is I created this out of scrap lumber. It's some of the scraps that I had. I used two befores because that's what I had. I used dowels because I had two 12-inch pieces of dowels that somebody threw away and I saved them. I tend to hoard stuff, wood anyway. So this is the one that I made. It was kind of fun to make. Um, it was interesting. The first handle I put in it was a soft pine with a grain the wrong way and it snapped. So I replaced it by punching the pins out and uh, cutting one that had a different grain structure. And, and again, it was scrap wood. I wanted to use a piece of hardwood because it would be stronger, but I didn't have one. So I just ripped that uh, two before piece off the two before, about seven eighths of an inch wide. I uh, can put the dimensions down, but it, you know, it doesn't matter that much. What I did is uh, to make it stronger, I saw, I scanned the YouTube and come up with some different concepts but it was fun um, uh, like I said um, the second one when I get some more per time in and <laughs> perfect it a little bit I'll put uh, some more information out on it but it gives you an idea how to make a can crusher just whip it together and see if it works have a great day the next part deals with the dimensions of this unit and I know there's going to be questions on how big this is, how big that is. So here we go. And it's 22 and a half. Why is it 22 and a half? I don't know. It just came out that way. And 22 and a half worked. I put a slot in here and it based, it's 10 inches. From here to here. Why? I wanted it so I could go back far enough to put the larger cans in. Um, set up right now, it hits up here, so it only goes wide enough for the smaller cans, but I can move it forward, uh, put it on a little shelf. And if you notice, I didn't go through the process of cutting a hole in the board underneath. This is made out of scrap two before, so I just hung it over the edge. And that way, when I get the can crushed, it drops down and falls in the bag. I do like the idea of putting screws on the side here so I can hang a smaller bag or a larger bag. And then as it fills, it just fills in the bag so I don't need the container down here. So that's kind of nice. To hold the plunger down, I just drill the hole. This is 3 8 so I drilled the 3 8 hole, glued it in place, and goes back and forth. This angle here is about 20 degrees. It comes up. You can... Uh, measure it I guess if you wanted to it's got a distance of 10 inches in that direction and a rise of three two and seven eighths okay so if you got ten this way and two seven eighths you can do your geometry and figure out what it is but that's my angle down here it's about like I said about 20 degrees and it the closer you make it, the less, when this is down here, it's flat. You notice as I pull this, it raises up a little bit. That's one of the reasons I put it like this. If I put a board up here, it rubs on it. So that lets it flex a little bit, move up and down, which doesn't hurt anything. I didn't put metal here or here. I would make it a little wider. Okay. And I would also, and I might do that, glue this piece back in, right in here. Because sometimes the can gets, when it squishes, it squishes out like that. And it kind of blocks it, but uh, no big deal. This is uh, two and seven eighths wide. I've had it to do over, I make it three and a quarter in this direction. So this width here is six, so it'd be six and uh, a quarter. So it'd be big enough that it wouldn't push into here. Might even make it six and a half. So that's the only changes I'd make. The length here for the rod is 19 inches. So that's 19. What I have here 
I ripped the two before. It's 39 inches long, the handle. So this is 39 inches. And again, the hole here is three eighths because that's what I use for the rod. So, and I could put a small screw in here, drill it, pin it, but that makes the wood weaker a little bit. And it doesn't work its way out. I've done quite a few cans already. There's two screws here, two screws here, two here, and two here. I did glue it. I don't think it's necessary, but I did anyway. So, and this is drilled from the other side to get the pin out. So I take this off, off the shelf, because there's a screw here and a screw here hold it in place, and one over here, if, if I break this. This is an inch and a half. It was ripped off a two before, so this is an inch and a half thick this way seven eighths here it could be a little wider i could have went to an inch because i've got that much space here and on this end all i did was cut a slot in and i use a scroll saw or a band saw either one whichever one you've got same thing here i ripped this on a table saw and just cut the end off and you can do it any way you want you can do it with a scroll saw you can drill a hole here and cut to the hole uh, any way you want whatever makes it easiest for you to do and that's all there is to it um, i don't have well i've got the cost of the screws and the glue but all the wood was scrap so that's it and see 22 inch piece here is one probably why i cut that length is that's a scrap piece that we had less than 24. Um, so a lot of time 24 inch pieces are reused in construction when they're short like this they're not usually used so that's it just put it in crush it it works pretty good have a good day and have fun making i did round the edges of the board up here on the top of the handle i sanded this so that when you grip it up here at the top it uh, doesn't hurt your hands but i do have a pair of gloves i wear i'm getting to be thin skinned <laughs> so i wear these when i crush it so have fun making it you can figure most everything else out and you can put a pin in here or a screw in here. I might change this to a screw, so, but I haven't had any problems with this sliding out. Um, the one down here can't slide out because it's a real tight fit. But if it did, I can uh, put a cap over the end of the wood and put a plate over it so it doesn't go. Or just put a screw beside it and it'll lock it in place. Same thing here. You take a, a small screw, nothing big like this, and screw it in right at the edge. Then this dowel won't move so and then you can remove it and punch it out if you need to to replace a member that breaks because sometimes especially if you're having kids do this they'll swing on this handle and break it but uh, otherwise it's all right like i said it's the first attempt it works and uh, had fun building it so throw it together it doesn't cost you anything and you've got the cans right now they're 31 cents a pound so and they don't go in the landfill that way we recycle and save eventually hopefully you can save enough to do some good take care have fun